here and we are in day 28 of our new era 30 day challenge today I decided to make a stretch video instead of a movement flow video I have had a bunch of requests for just stretching just stretching so I'm like all right let's do it so that is what we'll be doing today it'll be so wonderful you're gonna feel amazing so let's get right into it all right guys so we are gonna start off on the ground for this stretching routine we have Ricky here no, it's not Lincoln who lost a ton of weight, but he might join us later. So we are going to start off on those knees. We're going to take that right leg forward, and we're going to have a nice 90 degrees on both legs. From here, small movement, tuck in that pelvis, really digging in the left knee to the ground. So you'll feel this in that left hip flexor. Nice deep breath so you can really relax into this movement. And go ahead, release. Let's go to the other side right away then. Really tuck in that pelvis. Small movement, there's Linky. That's Ricky's meow. <laughs> and then go ahead and release. Let's have that right leg forward again. We're going to take our right hand to the inner part of that leg. Left arm is going to come up and we're going to twist up to the ceiling. And I like to press my right arm into that right leg to really get more leverage. I'm opening up that side body on the left side. Make sure you really concentrate on nice, deep breaths. And go ahead and slowly bring it back to center. Let's go to the other side then. So, nice twist. Really pressing left hand this time into that left inner thigh, reaching with those fingertips, being very active in this stretch. Breathing. And go ahead and bring it back to center. Nice job. Ooh, the shaky, shaky. We can go ahead and sit down, crisscross applesauce. And we're gonna do a nice spinal twist. So right hand to the left knee, left hand and back. Inhale, tall. Exhale, twist and turn. And keep going with that. Inhale, grow tall on that spine. Exhale, twist and turn. Really focusing on breathing. Nice soft face. Let's slowly unravel very gently. You can add some movement here. I like to add movement before we go to the other side. And then go ahead, left hand to the right knee, right hand and back. Inhale, tall. Exhale, twist and turn. Again, lengthening as we inhale. And then exhale, twist and turn. And go ahead and slowly bring it back to center. Feel free to add some shoulder rolls here. And Let's add some neck movement. Ooh, just a few circles. And then go ahead, shaky, shaky. We're gonna take that right hand to the left side of that neck, and we're gonna relax that neck as we pull down towards that right knee. So our chin is pointing towards that knee, and then you pull. Lincoln! I know. Somebody got a scratching post. <laughs> Cat a ASMR. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Okay. And then go ahead, slowly release a few side to sides. And let's go up to the other side. Remember, chin pointing towards the left knee this time. We're going to take our left hand, pull. And 
Nice deep breaths here. Hmm. Go ahead and slowly release a few side to sides, a few ups and down, up and down. That's so nice. <laughs> okay, one more neck one. So we're going to clasp our hands together like this. Place it in the back of the head, not the neck. Keep your elbows in, tuck them in. Relax your neck as you tuck your chin in your chest and you pull gently down to the ground. Nice deep breaths here. And then slowly release those hands as you bring that head up very slowly and gently. Once again, a few side to sides to reset that. You might feel like you can breathe a little bit better. A few ups, a few downs. Excuse Ricky's munching. <laughs> Let's go ahead and take our left hand in front. We're gonna pull it back in its socket. And then you're gonna pull across that body. So you should feel that in the front of the shoulder. Hi, honey. He's got this little like bow-leggedness. It's super cute. Hi! It's like, what is this circle mat? And then go ahead, slowly release, a little shake it out. Other side, pull it back in its socket. Pull, breathe. Make sure you're relaxing at those traps here. It's really easy to tense and tighten them up and hike them up, but we want to make sure they're nice and relaxed down. Go ahead, slowly release a little shaky shaky. We're gonna have our arms, or sorry, our legs out. Straddle position, I don't feel like facing the camera in this position, so you do you. All right, so nice and wide, hands are gonna be behind us. Dig those heels in the ground, point the toes out to the side. And we're just gonna hinge forward, and really, again, think about digging those heels in the ground. Nice flat back. If you are more flexible, you might be able to pancake it. You might be able to walk forward, which a lot of you can do, but make sure your back is flat when you do that. Breathe. If you want to add some side to side movements, feel free. This is your stretch. Nice job. And so, what we're going to do is we're going to try to take a foot or a leg and then widen it out. Ooh, a little bit extra room now that we've done that. So same thing, hands behind you, press forward, digging those heels in the ground, pointing the toes out. Nice deep breaths when you do this. It can be pretty intense. Hip work, hip opening is just like so, it can be a lot. It can be a, a lot, a lot. Slowly bring it up, maybe the other leg this time. A little bit, a little bit there. And then go ahead one more time, really press those heels in the ground. Nice flat back, hands behind you. Breathe. It's like a magic trick, right? <laughs> and then go ahead and slowly bring it back up. If you need your hands assistance to wiggle them back, to center, go for it. A little shaky, shaky. Nice tall spine here. We're gonna reach as far as we can with that tall spine, whether it be the knees, the ankles, or the feet. Nice little calf stretch here. Or possibly hamstring, depending on your hand placement. And then go ahead and slowly lower, relax the neck. You can grab onto your feet on the side of them. You can add some side to side movement if you want. This feels so nice on the lower back. I'm lifting my sit bones one at a time, kind of marching them out. 
Yes, low back is loving this. So nice. And go ahead and slowly roll it up. Nice job. All right, a little bit more glute work. We're going to take that right foot and cross it over the left leg. Now, if you're more advanced, you can totally bring in that left leg. That's totally cool. Or you can keep it straight. So from here, what we're going to do is take the left arm. You're going to wrap it around that right leg. Stick with me. <laughs> right hands and back. Inhale, grow tall. Exhale, twist and turn, pulling that right leg closer to that chest. So it's really, really nice getting those glutes after all of that glute work we've done. Again, really connecting, bringing it back to that breath. Relaxing the face. Go ahead, slowly unravel. We're gonna go on the other side. On one side, you might need to modify where you have your leg out straight, and that's totally okay, okay? We are here to listen to our bodies. We're here to treat them to this loving, wonderful movement. So, no need to beat yourself up if you can't quite get there on one side. Right arm this time is going to hug in the left leg. Left hand and back, inhale tall. Exhale, twist and turn. Really pulling that knee closer to you. Go ahead and slowly unravel. Very gently come out of that movement. You can add a little shaky shaky if you want to. We're gonna grab the opposite side elbows underneath us. And if you can't do that, you're just gonna grab right here, back to the legs, totally okay. So you're gonna tuck your chin, your chest, pull back and round that back. So I feel this in my upper back. And go ahead and slowly unravel. Nice job, guys. A little shaky shaky. And we're gonna plant our hands in back of us Fingertips facing towards the feet, roll the shoulder blades back and down, pressing up into a bridge pose. So bring them up. And from here, you're going to feel that in your biceps. You'll feel in your biceps as well as the front of the shoulder and the chest if you're super tight there. Squeezing the glutes, stay nice and active in them, tucking the chin into that chest. We don't need to lean it back. And then go ahead and slowly bring it down to that ground. Hi, honey. <laughs> Flip it around. Tabletop position. From here, walk the hands forward, keeping those knees where they are. Onto the fingertips, and then bring your chest down to the ground. Hi. You can add some side-to-side -side movements if you want to. Mm-hmm. Once you're ready, go ahead and drop those elbows down to the ground. Clasp the hands back into that prayer, whatever you'd like to call it. Bring it in the back of the head. And then we're going to scoot our elbows closer to our head. Dig them into the ground then as we shift our hips back. So this should be a really awesome stretch for those triceps and those lats. Once again, coming back to that breath. Mm. Go ahead and slowly bring it forward. Hi, where'd you come from? <laughs> and we're gonna sit those hips all the way back into a child's pose. Relaxing that neck and we're going to release the lower back. So feel free to bring your arms behind you, forehead down to the ground if you can reach. And take some nice inhales here, exhales. Your knees can be separated, especially if you have big bobos, maybe that's more comfortable for you. Or feel free.
free to bring them in. It's a little bit tougher though if you do. And go ahead and slowly bring it up. From here, let's walk the hands forward again. This time we're gonna walk them to the right. Press the palms to the ground and then push your hips towards the left. So you'll feel that stretch in that left side of the body. Nice deep breaths. Let's bring it back to center. Walk it over to the left this time. Sit the hips towards the right. Pressing those palms to the ground. And go ahead and walk it back to center. Let us walk the hands forward and then slowly lower ourselves down to the ground. Arms out into a T. Bend the left knee. Bring the left hand by the chest. And we're gonna bring that body over to the right. So we're opening up. You're gonna feel that stretch in the shoulder as well as possibly the hip. Your, hip, your foot doesn't have to touch the ground. If you're not feeling this stretch at all where you need a little bit more, have your right thumb facing down. Bring it up about 45. And now try it. You can adjust that right hand where you need it. You should feel a nice shoulder opening. Feel it in my shoulder, my bicep. And go ahead and slowly bring it back to center. And let's repeat on the other side. So right hand is by the chest. Bend the right knee. Left arm is gonna either go out to the side or thumb facing down to about 45 degrees. We're gonna bring that body over and take nice deep breaths. Relax the neck. Let's go ahead, slowly bring it back to center. Nice job, you guys. And we're gonna press back onto the knees. Big toes together, knees out wide. Sit the hips back. Walk the hands forward, modify child's pose to open up those hips. Feel free to add movement here. Just gonna keep track of the time. Great. Nice deep breaths here. And go ahead and slowly rock it forward. We are gonna bring our right foot to that right side, toes facing forward, and you can stay here if you want to. If this is enough or you really feel it in those inner thighs, you couldn't possibly do any more, just stay here, that's okay. If you have a little bit more in you, press that foot in the ground as you shift those hips back and just stay here in this wonderful inner thigh stretch, which can, which can feel quite intense, so just make sure you're listening to your body. Breathe. Ah, oh, excuse me. And go ahead and shift forward. Let's go right to the other side then. Take your time getting into the other side because that could have been pretty intense. And listen to your body. If one side where you, is where you just can't push your hips back, that's totally okay. So take your time. Actively pressing that left foot in the ground. Breathe. And let's slowly bring it back. To center and let's get those wrists and those forearms it's very very important to stretch as well so 
We're gonna have our fingertips like this. And we're gonna lean back. Now, if this is too intense, you can always do one at a time and you can sit up and pull. Just make sure you're pulling on the meat of that hand, not just like the fingertips. You'll get way better of a stretch if you do that. So nice deep breaths here. Getting those forearms and those wrists. Not the most comfortable, but really, really important if you start to get into bar work, especially. And go ahead and bring it back. Add some movement if you want to. I usually like to do some circles before I go to the other side. And so this time we're gonna have our palms. These are palms cap, top of the hands on the mat. Try not to billow out like this, try to straighten it out. And then lean back as much as your body allows without too much discomfort. And go ahead and slowly release. Very gentle movement here, if you want to. La, la, la. <laughs> okay, so we are going to bring ourselves into a plank very briefly. Promise. We're going to take that left foot to the outside of the left hand, drop the right knee, and then get onto the side of that left foot. From here, we're just going to sink down. Try to come to your forearms or close to it. If you can't, you can just stay up here. You should really feel the nice opening in that left hip. So a little modified lizard's pose. Go ahead and slowly bring it up, coming back into that plank position. Let's switch sides onto the side of that right foot this time. Come down, and one side you might not be able to come down as far, and that's okay. Once again, just listen to your body. Beautiful, wonderful body that takes you through all of these movements in life. Hmm. Go ahead and slowly bring it up, bring it back into a tabletop position. Whew, okay, so we're gonna sit down now, come into that butterfly, bottoms of the feet together. We're gonna grab onto those feet, and you can add some flutters if you want to. Just try to have as tall of a spine as you can. If you want to, you can place your back against a wall, that's really nice, and that way you can use your hands to help. Press those knees open a little bit more. But really actively thinking about bringing the knees closer to the ground so you feel that stretch happening in those inner thighs. Breathing. Once again, it's pretty intense. It's a lot. Butterflies, it's a, it's a pose. It's a, it's a pose. <laughs> And go ahead and slowly bring it back to center. Nice job, guys. Okay, so let's get the chest a little bit more. Very, very important for posture. So we are going to come into hero's pose or a little modification. So you can either be here or you can come up or you can stand up. That's totally cool. So we're going to clasp our hands one more time in back. And we're going to bring it over to the left. You're going to pull that elbow back behind you and actively pull back so you feel that in the front of the chest and the front of the shoulder here. Now, if you want to add a little bit more, drop that neck over to the right and you'll feel even greater of a stretch, not only in your chest and your shoulder, but also in that neck. Nice soft face. And slowly bring it back to center. We're gonna go the other side. So really think about pulling that elbow back behind you, dropping that neck to the left very gently. I love doing this stretch because you can do it anywhere. You don't need a doorway or anything. You can just do this when you're standing in line. So nice. 
and slowly bring it back to center. Nice job, you guys. Shake it out. All right, so let's finish it off coming into crisscross applesauce, a little mini meditation. Before you go off in your day, feel free to lay down if you want to. Palms facing up, nice tall spine. Big inhale through that nose. Exhale through the mouth. Another one, inhale through that nose. Exhale through the mouth. And go with whatever breath feels best for you. Today, we're going to think about maybe a little worry that you have. Something that's been lingering in the back of your mind throughout this day. A little irritation that you might have. And let's ask ourselves, question it. Do I need to hold on to this and does this actually really matter? Do I need this extra stressor in my life or can I let this go? Or maybe is it something in your house is messy and it only takes a few minutes to clean up. So that way, instead of passing it every day, getting frustrated with little stressors, you can take care of it to free yourself from that feeling. So take a moment to really reflect on your life right now and think, am I holding on to something that I can let go of? Or is there a little stressor that I can take care of right now so I can feel a little bit more free and free up some space in my life and in my environment? Know that you have control over this. You have control if you want to hold on to this thing. You have control if you want to Clean up the space. And just know that you are wonderful, you are safe, and you are enough right now as you are, even if you're not quite where you want to be. So go ahead, one more big inhale. Exhale. Slowly open those eyes, clasp the hands in front, Pull the shoulders in, big inhale up, and exhale, a sparkle, sparkle, sparkle. We are done for today, yay! We did it, you guys did it. We completed day 28 of our new era 30 day challenge. Thank you guys so, so much for joining me. I'm hoping that your body feels amazing after this, whether you did this throughout the challenge or you did this as a standalone. Thank you guys so, so much. If you could like the video before you go, Thank you, thank you. And also comment, let me know how your body's feeling, how this challenge is going for you. Are you ready for it to end? Or are you ready to keep on going? I would love to know it. If you can't think of anything else, then feel free to put a, a pink flower emoji, because those are really pretty. Um, rather than that, if you do want to support my channel, I have a link down in the description. It says support my channel. Anything and everything is so, so greatly appreciated. Thank you guys again so much for joining me. Tomorrow is going to be a full body workout. Back to the craziness. All right. I think that's it. I will see you guys for day 29.